Spending an awful lot of time in the, you know, looking for love in the wrong places, basically. And then all of a sudden, this door opens to him, and he finds out that there's a, a whole other world of uh, gay men out there that he never knew. There's all sorts of bears out there. What can I say? It's a bear movie. You have to have good food. Everybody's on a diet. Normally it's the, can I eat a whole bag of chips diet. The community is much more, um, I think, approachable and friendly. Uh, you know, they welcome you into the fold, so to speak, as opposed to being on the outside trying to knock knock on their people's backs and trying to get in, you know. It's, it's more of a, oh, here's the new guy, you know, let's bring him in and, and say hi and get to know him, which is something you don't usually find in most, and I don't want to say clicks, but it's, it's like that. When you go out into some bars, it's like a click and you can't break in. It's a beautiful love story. I am a bear enthusiast. Yeah, I am a friend of bears. I feed them because they're cuddly and uh, they're just beautiful people, really. And you know what? They're just not tripping. Not tripping. Not tripping. It's... It's a, it's a great community. Actually, I had no idea what a bear was, you know. I thought they were just things that lived in, like, the forest. It's about the fact that they go into the self-acceptance, and that makes them more open for relationships and for love, whether it's for more friends or for of a romantic kind. And being a romantic, I just wanted to tell that story. And I really, especially with the bear community, I wanted people to see especially young gay men or old gay men, that there's more to life than what they think being gay is. It gets out of the box of the concept of what people think gay men are. And I think it hopefully will open up too for gay men to open themselves up to not be so scared in a way that just because they don't look what they think a gay man should look like, that there's still love out there and there's still friendship and there's still companionship. I think in the beginning of the film, he really, most of his friends are straight or he has a few gay friends, but they're not, he doesn't really involve himself so much in the gay community because he doesn't feel that that's some place that he belongs. There's a lot of napping. The two lead characters nap a lot. As we'll see in the movie, there's a lot of napping going on. Because as one character says in the film, I think it's still in the film, um, it's not who you sleep with that matters, it's who you nap with that makes the difference. And it's about how the two main characters can be with each other, just relax and accept each other. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not always about sex. If you notice through the first part of the film, Robert's constantly wearing this gray jacket. And I know so many people, and I've done it myself, that you, you just want to hide your body and you just want to... You just want to keep it closed in so it looks as good as you possibly can, you know. And I, I remember when I used to work in um, in an office. Sometimes I would I, my weight goes up and down a lot. And I was at work one day, and I finally, you know, sweating in the morning, got dressed, got to work, felt good about how I looked. And the first thing that came out of this one woman's mouth is, "Have you gained weight lately?" Well, you know, what do you do with that? So then you start wearing the jackets and hiding your body. So and then the second half, he really accepts his body for what it is. He meets these other bears. They're all accepting their bodies, and it leads him to accept his. So what I'm hoping for the gay man, no matter what size you are, that it leads them to accept their bodies and accept who they are, you know, and to love themselves, and that enables other people to love them as well. And for the straight audience, I'm hoping that it's going to open up some perceptions, that they don't think that all gay men are necessarily what they see on TV or, you know, in some movies where they're just fey muscle boys that scream, you know, it, that it could be this guy walking down the street, that it could be a grip on a movie, you know what I mean? It, it's anybody, that we're all different and we're all the same in a lot of ways. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it'll just lead people to accept themselves and others. Action! Well, the people that worked on this crew that have never heard of bears, it's sort of a, like, really kind of thing, which I think is neat. Um, so I kind of wanted the full party to be that Frankie and Annette, like the innocent. And I think whether or not bears are innocent, there's something completely sincere about it at its core, which I think is neat. Because it's an outsider club. <laughs> Cut! God. Oh my God! <laughs> you scared the shit out of me! Playback, ad lib! <laughs> It's amazing what this film does. I cannot stress enough how, I mean, when Kevin first came to me and said, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna try and make a movie here, and I was like, oh, we're in big trouble, because I've done small budget films before, and generally, it's small budget. I think anybody can be a bear if they want to be a bear. It's more of a state of mind, 
and uh, a friendliness and outgoing. It's not so in tune with your body that it becomes completely, you know, who you are. Doesn't you don't let that take over. The out gay community is getting older, and not everybody in the gay community is. 20 and stick thin and going to rave clubs all the time. So I think it's a natural progression for the gay community to branch off into different areas, into bears, and it's important for people to have their own identity and not to be, not to feel ashamed of who they are, that they don't fit into the mold in any community, gay, straight, anything. It's important that you have your own niche in your community to feel welcome, to feel comfortable in your community. And I think that's what the bears do. Because I, I think a lot of those guys Four years ago, five years ago, they sat at home.